Hey guys, this is a video in my TI-30XS multi-view tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to evaluate hyperbolic trig functions on the TI-30XS multi-view calculator. Without further ado, let's get to it. First, I'm going to find the hyperbolic sine of natural log of 2. Press the second button and then press the pi button to choose HYP and when you choose the HYP uh, function uh, or option uh, notice that a little HYP appears on the upper left corner of the screen so now the hyperbolic mode is turned on and if I press sign I get cinch so I'm going to type in natural log of 2 now so natural log 2 and then close off the parentheses and press enter. I get the cinch of natural log of 2 as 0 0.75. It may be beneficial to note that once you press the HYP button or a, a second and then the pi button, the hyperbolic mode is only there for that one calculation. If I press sign now, I get just regular sign, not cinch. Another thing that may be worth noting is that it doesn't matter what trig mode you are in for these hyperbolic calculations. Uh, for example, uh, now I was in degrees, but if I go and change that to radians, I'm going to arrow over to radian and then press enter. So now I'm in radian mode, uh, second mode to quit. If I do the same calculation again, all I need to do is press and enter and it will just do the uh, previous calculation so even in radian mode I get the exact same answer so I just thought it might be worth uh, mentioning that if you want to do inverse hyperbolic uh, functions uh, it's quite similar so let's clear this out uh, press second uh, the pi button and uh, press this uh, sign uh, set press second and then sign to choose inverse sign which gives you inverse cinch now I'm going to type in 0 0.75 on the inside so 0 0.75 and then close the parenthesis and press enter and I get the answer as uh, approximately 0 0.693 which is equal to the natural log of 2. If you were to do the hyperbolic cosine and inverse hyperbolic cosine, it would be done in a very similar fashion. I hope this video helps. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. I'll try my best to help. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Until next time, take care guys.